Yeas pour 266, 266. Nays contre, zero, aucun. I declare the motion as amended, carried. It was a good day for the Shadow Minister of Foreign Affairs and Wellington Halton Hills MP Michael Chong as most MPs voted in favour of his opposition motion on Monday to recognise the genocide of Uyghur Muslims in western China. There are about 12 million Uyghurs in western China in a province called Xinjiang in a country of about 1.4 billion ethnic Han Chinese. And so this ethnic minority of 12 million Uyghur Muslims uh, is being persecuted by the Chinese authorities. Uh, in the last several years, there's evidence of hundreds of detention camps that have been built, uh, incarcerating up to 2 million Uyghur people. There's evidence of systemic uh, sexual violence being perpetrated by Chinese authorities, as well as uh, mass sterilizations, forced abortions, and so many other uh, gross human rights violations. Here on Google Maps, you can see what Chong is referring to when it comes to these internment camps. You can also see drone footage circulating like this one that has raised concerns with many countries, including ours. Chong says not only was this motion about recognizing a genocide, but also a push for the government to work with our allies to take steps to put a stop to it. We're calling on the government uh, first to actively and formally request of the International Olympic Committee a relocation of next winter's Olympic Games in Beijing. As it currently stands, Beijing is to play host to the Winter Olympics next winter. And we don't think that athletes can go to participate in a, in a country where there is a genocide taking place. So we're at calling on the government to actively seek the relocation of the Olympics. We're also calling on them to join with the United States in formally recognizing this genocide and encouraging its recognition by other democracies. Uh, there's evidence that forced slave labor is being used in the production of many goods coming out of Xinjiang province where the 12 million Uyghurs live. It's a major source of the world's cotton some 20% of the world's cotton comes from that area of China. And so we're calling on the government to ban the importation of products made using forced slave labor. Although most MPs voted in favor of this motion, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his cabinet were either not present or abstained from the vote. A move Chong says reflects a lack of leadership. They've been passive and equivocating in the face of Chinese threats uh, to our our citizens, to our companies, uh, and to our values uh, with the threat that this genocide presents to not just the Uyghur people, but to fundamental values of a belief in human rights. And so our view is that this passive equivocating approach of the current government isn't working. Now, since the vote, a spokesperson for China's foreign ministry has come out to say the motion disregards facts and that there is no genocide. The spokesperson also says Canadian politicians are politicizing sports and harming the international movement and efforts of all countries. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.